to Mark's Classical Guitar School and part two of Aaron Shearer's study number one. So what we'll do now is we will look at the score again. You'll notice that there is a 3-4 numbers here. What that represents is that every quarter note, which are these notes, get one beat and that each bar or this between this line and this gets three beats. So there are three beats for every quarter note and these are quarter notes. So what we'll do is that we will play invariably the first note is played loud, the other two notes are played softly. So in 3-4 time or waltz time we play the first beat loud and the other two beats soft. So it's like the um pa pa um pa pa uh, beat pattern. How we'll do that is we will play the first beat in rest stroke. A rest stroke is where we'll also plant our thumb down and we'll only use our eye finger. So plant your thumb on the fretboard and what you do with the first note which is E and we're going to play that in rest stroke. That's going to give us a louder longer note. So what we do is we touch the string and then we let it roll over the string and then we pluck with our nail if we use a nail. And we allow that finger to rest behind the other string. In this case, I'm playing the first string, which is this one, first string in open string, and I'm going to allow to rest on the second string. So that's a rest stroke. Now, the other two notes we want played softly, and so we'll play them in free stroke. In free stroke, we do somewhat the same thing. We touch the string. We allow the nail to come in contact with the string. And then we roll back in a circle, almost like as if you were riding a bike, a kid riding a bike with small spokes. So we roll back with our finger and that gives us the free stroke. So that's the second note. Now the third note, which is this one, is on the third string. So we play, also play that in free stroke. So the total bar, the whole bar, from here to here, should sound like this. With a free stroke on the first string, I mean a rest stroke on the first string, and then two free strokes on the second and third string. Again. So now we can apply that to the other bars.